Ah, oh, the thrill is back. The thrill is the not The thrill gone. is back. <laughs> Folks excited. Look at this guy. Look how happy he is. That's the smile, man. Mm. That's great. So he's first team all smile. Yeah. Will Barton is. And he's, he's going to be smiling a lot this year. I'm just not going to. He does have a winning smile. I would say a winning smile. Not going to, you know, blow my bold prediction here, but going to see that smile a lot this year. That's my prediction. Wait, do you have a smile? That makes me smile. Do you have a smile-based prediction or just what will happen? <laughs> <laughs> it is a smile-based prediction. <laughs> what did you know? What's up, everybody? Welcome into the Will Barton Lounge, a.k.a. the Thrill Lounge, a.k.a. the People's Champ Lounge, uh. a.k.a. Willie B. Buckets Lounge, and a.k.a. Will Barton the Third Lounge, <laughs> a.k.a. Thrill with three L's. That's right, baby. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, let's get started. Last year's stats for Will Barton. Last year's stats. Okay, we got 12.7 points. We got 38% shooting from the three-point line. Vote what stands out. Field goal percentage, a little low, and I think that that is anchored by um, pretty miserable performance around the rim. Although I think we're all kind of on the same page about why that is coming back from that injury. Yeah. Um, you'd like to think optimistically that that looks much better this season. So that's one of the first things I look at. Eric? <sighs> deep breath. Deep well, sigh. I, I, I mean, like, what stands out? I don't know what stands out. Like, that. those to me look like Will Barton stats. Like, Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, Will Barton is is remarkably consistent, remarkably reliable, way better than people give him credit. Um, and those numbers are sort of like what you can expect from you know your third, fourth best player uh, if you're looking to make that leap to the next level. Well, the 12.7 points was a bit of a dip from what right. he was 15. at the last couple That's of seasons. And look, you can see why. Jamal Murray leveled up to 21-plus points per game. Michael Porter Jr. came into his own so naturally it right. was going to drop a little. Nicole Yoke just still going to put home 20 a night at least last year, 26. Um, this year, though, like you would expect that to go up. So a, a bit of a dip in scoring, but I bet he rebounds this year. What stands out to me is that it's all the stats. I mean, you got rebounds in there. You got assists in there. You got threes in there. You got scoring. Like it, He does so many different things for the Nuggets, and I think – Oftentimes, when guys are a specialist at one skill, you're like, "Oh, that's the guy that Malik Beasley. That's our scorer. I like, get it to him. He's, he's a, a shooter. He's a shooter. Get him the ball, like this or that." Well, Barton, like sometimes he's a facilitator. Sometimes he's a scorer. Sometimes he's a rebounder. Sometimes yeah. you know, even a defender for the Nugget. So um, that's kind of what stands out. And then the 31 minutes per yes. game. Yeah. I think that it, it's interesting to think about how many minutes he should play in light of you know him having the injuries but you know the thing about him this season allegedly coming back healthy you know obviously had unfortunate luck uh with rolling his ankles but yeah. that's the thing that I'm optimistic about for him so his whole stat line is what stands out to me because of how much he does but let's go to the big question here because it really is to me it's a, some guys have okay could you go a couple different ways with this one will barton's one of those guys the there's only one major question that that supersedes all the other ones and that is can he stay healthy can Will Barton stay healthy? That's the question. Last couple years, he's carried a big burden at times. He's gotten hurt. He hasn't had a healthy playoffs. This is the question, man. I think he can this year because this Nuggets team is more complete than it's ever been. So you hit on this before, some of the many things that Barton has been asked to do, sometimes all of them at once, particularly rebounding, defending, and I think things that maybe just over the, the, the totality of two, three seasons have cost him some games. Mm. So... I think he can. I also think what might contribute to that is maybe something we haven't talked about enough, the possibility of finding Barton rest where and when they can. Right. And how does that come into play? I'll save it for other previews, but maybe for other guys getting playing time that we've talked about. But how does that rest when – how does that apply when Jamal Murray's already out? You're sort of already resting one guy. Yeah. So does is do you feel like he is going to be able to rest a lot or – in the last few years when he's gotten hurt, it's been we're shorthanded. Will, we need you 36 minutes right. a night for – you know. So many straight games. So do you think he, to to Vote's point, he'll be able to rest this year? I've got to think it's a priority mm. for the Nuggets. I mean, he's not 26, 27 years old anymore. He's 30 years old. He's got a lot of mileage on him. You know, he doesn't exactly have the biggest frame that can, like, yeah, like Will Barton is, is has been durable before these last couple of years, but, you know, he doesn't have, like like, the frame to take him years and years and years in the future, I feel like. Um, without injuries so it's got to be a priority to, to get him rest early on the season because you're right Adam the reason these injuries have happened late in the year is because he's playing big big minutes 
at the beginning of the season. Right. You know, when, when some guys have been easing their way into into uh, season. So it, it's just got to be a priority. It's got to happen. You know, you got to look at PJ Dozier and be like, all right, that's somebody who can make a spot start. <laughs> For Will Barton, you, you got to look at Austin Rivers and be like, all right, we brought him back because we trust him. He can make a spot start, you know, for Barton in December to give him a night off. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree. Like, it has to be a priority. That it's the thing that has held Will Barton down the last several years. It's just like when everything is looking its best, like we look like we're really getting the thrill. The thrill returns. Like we get some core injury or so we get right. like some 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 something that's just like a setback and you know he's not getting younger like so man i i just it's all that that's always my fear with will barton like his heart his desire his skill set like everything charisma is, teamwork nothing, like all that stuff. for me like there's no questions on any of that it's yeah. just it, it really comes down to health and it's such a bummer topic but it's like one that is like super appropriate with uh, will barton but does it concern you guys i mean he rolled his ankle in the second day of pre right. of exactly. the training camp exactly. right and this is one of those things where it's like it's a bummer we're recording this by the way he has yet to play in the preseason i suspect on friday we'll get to see him here in the at, at home maybe, maybe maybe not i don't know um, but you know, in a season where health is the major question, a little bit of a bummer that it starts out with him on the, on the sideline. Hundred percent. I was absolutely concerned when I saw that. I mean, it was among the very top things. Training camp starts, and you go, "All right, what do I hope does not happen right. in the first two days?" Right. Well, Barton yeah. rolling an ankle was up there, and it sounds minor. I mean, well, like by the yeah. time people yeah. are watching this, I think there'll be more information about you know yeah. just how healthy he'll be or, or going into the season. But yeah, you know, it's, it's not even. A, but it's not even about what the injury is. Is that it's an injury yeah no, it's, it's, was like, on. it's like oh man like an immediate setback exactly. to start this year where the campaign is going to as we all think it sounds like is going to be defined about whether or not the man can stay healthy if i were to so i'm gonna get a yes or no here if i were to ask like will barton plays 70 games we'll say 68 68 games and the games he misses are largely or if not exclusively rest is he gonna is he gonna do that so is he gonna have a healthy season or yes or no i think he can I think he can. I think a big key is just not asking him to wear five hats at once mm. all season long. Yeah. Yes. Would be my answer. Oh yeah, that's what I was supposed to do. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think he, I, I don't. I don't. I literally. I don't see it. Okay. I, I want to see it. I'm like you. You know me. I mean, I would like to see this. I just. I, I don't know. You know, outside of just like wanting it to happen i don't know how you can say that there's a good chance it, it will we haven't seen it uh i'm going yes we have seen it we just not the last two and a half seasons that's yeah. what i mean that's what i mean it, sometimes this happens guys hit an injury and then it, and let's think let's be honest the last two years have been condensed so it's yep. almost like he hasn't been injured we say the last three years it's really the last two sure. it's just so happens that we did three years in two years and that it, it's been condensed like that let's move on though actually what happens, what happens if I rub this vase here? What oh what God. what happens if I just just rub it right? This is, is it vase or vase? Do you guys know? It's a lamp. <laughs> well, I think it's dad. But there's no light. <laughs> but there's no Harrison. A member of the tribe should understand that you burn oil out of a lamp. A member of the tribe. What happens with such a lamp? Like, so like oil. <laughs> it's okay. Out me. Uh, a genie, guys. Oh, my gosh. In our midst, yep. it's a genie. Here I am, guys. This uh, genie Eric. is such a dick. <laughs> Can I uh, make a wish for my own sanity and, and dignity? Is that possible or no? Denied. Okay, um, well. All right. We all have wishes now that we get to to ask request of our genie here and he will i'll reset of course welcome back to me oh, guys sorry, here sorry. i am uh you've rubbed my lamp oh. I'm, I'm sorry vase slash oh. urn um and i have only one wish to grant i'll okay. listen to all three of you make a request as to whether or not your wish can be the wish that is granted so make it good would what? you mind <laughs> genie I so humbly request, I wish even, love this starting off, for a healthy playoff run. The Nuggets enter the playoffs. Will Barton is at 100%. 100%. That's wow. right. Not 99. Not I've 99. Got, I've got a, a GD genie in front of me. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for actually being I'm not, going for 100. Not pulling away. Can we have him <laughs> semi healthy, <laughs> like 50% healthy? Just like a, a, little, a couple ankles. I'm going to wish he rolls for, one ankle. I'd like to wish for a playoffs. positive mindset. <laughs> positive mindset. Well, speaking of positive mindset, I, I have a wish. Gen sure, generic. sure, sure. I mean, that's literally why I'm here. I wish that Nuggets fans 
learn to love Will Barton. <laughs> oh, great wish. With the fervor that we great love wish. Will Barton. The, the fan base Don't even think sees about Will, Will Barton through the eyes happen. of which we see Will Barton. I love A it. A total and unconditional admiration and love. A childlike wish for world peace. I love it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is a childlike wish for world peace. Damn it. Uh, Can we just make everyone agree on all the issues? Too? <laughs> okay. I've heard this before. I Okay. Uh, win, please. I am hoping... For Will Barton, he's making this up as he goes to drop it. another rap album. Unexpected oh! too, coming soon, hopefully. Oh wow, y'all can have the bag. I think I want the banners. This yes, time. let's do it. That's yes. reverse it. Let's replace it. I as the genie. How, wish how great would the vibes be if we just get a little Barton album drop right before the season? <laughs> Wow. I love that this is wins. Wow. That's one not as important to me personally, but I, I, I mean, appreciate to that. His own. Okay, okay, so to with, his with the one wish that I can grant, let me recap here. So you would like Will Barton to be healthy going into the playoffs. That's right. You would like to view the world through the eyes of a child and have everybody agree and sing Kumbaya. And you, <laughs> what was your wish again? This one. This was <laughs> Unexpected <great> too. <laughs> Unexpected <laughs> album coming from Will Barton. That's Obviously, I'm going to go again with uh, Brendan Vogt. He's the only one who understands what wishes are all about we're gonna get an album no one's gonna do that Let's go. <laughs> i like bunch, your wish. bunch like of your haters wish. all right <laughs> get, get out of here let's play what are the odds let's play what are the odds full Hi. disclosure you guys took my two wishes whoa <laughs> what are the that's why you write them down on the sheet so we don't cut but you know what whatever <laughs> well show you went prep, to be last not, so. not everybody is about show prep <laughs> um what are the odds guys for will barton let's get our very first one what are the odds he shoots better than 37% from three this year? Better than 30%. Uh, he's a 35% career three-point shooter. The last two years, 37.5, 38. Here's the thing to think about. So you'd be like, oh, the trend is upward. He takes on a larger role. He's no longer the second guard in the rotation That's a good the, yeah. or on the court. He's no longer the fourth scorer. He's now the third scorer, or, you know, point. third leading scorer, hopeful. So. Yeah. What do we think here? I think it's pretty high. I, I think Will Barton's a really good shooter. And the fact that he's coming into this season, obviously not 100% healthy because he had the ankle injury, but still in a much better place and much healthier than he was coming in to last season. I just think he's going to be ready to go from the get-go. And um, I just trust him as a shooter. I really do. Mm. So I think it's pretty good. I'd say... 65 percent okay i like that two-thirds likely a little slight short uh, of that the odds best, right? i believe are minus 115 okay or are we talking about the percentage no you by odds we mean percentage <laughs> you guys you know what i'm just gonna let you guys do whatever way of speaking about i believe that this is likely to happen i okay. think that will barton if he can stay healthy um which we you know we've already discussed like is going to rely less and less upon his athleticism and focus more and more on his shooting, which is his skill, his skill which he absolutely has in spades. And it's just like when you start to specialize a little bit because you cut off maybe one part of your game and focus on another, you can improve it. And he has it in him. Um, so I, I think it's pretty good. Like I, I actually really see this happening. So I put it at 70%. Wow. Wow. Um, I'm going to go a little bit lower than you guys. I think it'll be around 37%, I, I plus or minus like 1%. So I'm, 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 I'm right there. But I'm going to go more like 50%. I think I set a perfect line. I guess I made it. So, of course, I made this 50%. All right, I'll go with um, 60%. I think it's more likely to happen than not. Okay, I love it, man. We're going to shoot the hell out of the leather off the ball this year. Every year gets good, bro. You know, one thing I do wonder about just the general NBA, does shooting dip a lot this year because it's full arenas from start to finish now? You know, think about two years in a row with no fans and everybody shooting is off the chart. Is there like a little bit of a regression there? Who knows? All right, next one. What are the odds? He comes off the bench at any point this season. And I don't mean a, oh, okay, he's coming back from a major injury one. I'm just saying, like, what are the odds that Denver goes, you know, we like a different lineup here. We like you as the sixth man. Um, Eric, I'll let you start this one. I, I see this happening. Really? I do. I see this happening. I mean, this is like a role we've been clamoring for, for Will Barton to play for three years. At least what? Have. You've been clamoring. I, yeah. I, I, you have been clamoring. I've been clamoring for this. I, I was think, clamoring for your three I, starts. I think that Will Barton is the Nuggets' best six man. I've seen him run with the bench. I've seen him like take over and actually run the offense on the second unit. He's done it successfully. He's done it like uh, really well. I mean... I, 
I don't know that we could say the same for P.J. Dozier. Like, I would rather see P.J. Dozier play a complementary role and Will Barton play more of a an assertive role, and I think he mm. does that as a sixth man. I think your starters matter more, and I think we've talked about that net rating with these group when they're all together. Yep. I think it'd be wasteful to go away from that personally. So I get what you're saying, and I know a lot of people love the idea of P.J. Dozier's defense here. I think the odd healthy Barton going to the bench, 10% or lower for yeah, me. Yeah, I put 5% on it. I just I, I don't see a healthy Barton coming off the bench. I just don't. And the thing is, Malone, is he sticks with lineups. We know sometimes stubbornly so. I just can't see that happening either unless something is really going wrong, a la a Nurkic-Jokic situation. Like yes. You think about the times he's made switches. It's been yeah. like, okay, 20 games past due. This is not working out. Not a... Why don't we try something crazy here, guys? <laughs> you know, yeah. like, why don't we mix it up? I do wonder about him closing a lot of games. I do wonder, like, a playoffs. You know, Malone has made adjustments in a playoffs depending on matchups. And I do think there is something, too, if you look at that second unit, if it is Faku and Dozier and, Jermichael, and, and Austin Rivers, none of those guys are the scorer that Will Barton is. And maybe it's more of a, can we put some offense on that unit? Maybe something like that happens in a playoffs. But yeah. regular season, I'm with win. Five. Five percent, yeah. something like that. Last one. What are the odds? He is not six out of ten. <laughs> what are the odds? He is not the leading scorer, third leading scorer on the Nuggets pre Murray, pre Murray's return. What are the odds? Like we we one. just think it's it's Porter, Jokic. What are the odds? He's not third. Do you like it? You can go first then. Vote. I don't like it that much. All right, uh, when go first. I mean, it'd be surprising for sure, but it's possible. Like it, it could happen. Um, it could be like a Monte. It could be what? Aaron Gordon. I think it's going to be Aaron Gordon. Number um, three. Wow. So I would say the odds that he's not 30%. I was going to go with 35. I think it's like 60. I think it's likely to not happen. It's wild. It could what? be Aaron Gordon, man. It Aaron, really you think, could. You think Aaron Gordon's going to have it, a, this is kind of more, a big This year. is more about Aaron Gordon than or Aaron Gordon going up than Will Barton going down. Do Barton's yeah. assists go up in this context? I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, will you know? Like, I think that Jokic is assist go up. I have no idea if Will Barton is assisting to Aaron Gordon. Sure, um, but I just I see that I just see a world where an explosive Aaron Gordon paired alongside Nikola Jokic uh, slashing and dunking feels like an easier route to get I'm, I'm, points. I'm getting on board with this take. All right, really okay, am. all right. Well, you're wrong. It's ten percent here, and here's why. <laughs> We're talking about I said. because Black. there's front court, there's back court, and like Porter and Yoke are in the front court. They're going to have who's going to have the ball? The guards Yo, handle Jokic. the ball. Well, Yoke will, will have the ball. <laughs> yes, Yoke will have the ball, but oh, guards shit, also point. have the ball quite a bit. And one, I think Barton is just the third best scorer, like even over Gordon as a scorer there. And two, I just the way basketball works, it tends to be a little from the guards, a little from the that's forwards, a little from the center. And then the other guys just kind of filling around it. So that's why I don't if, see If it. this preseason has been any indication, if there's anything real in this preseason, in this preseason, it's that Aaron Gordon is going to be very aggressive looking for his offense. Has he played with um, MPJ, Barton, and Yoke all together yet? Uh, I mean, no. There's been two games. Right. So, Yoke didn't play in one. MPJ didn't play in one. Barton hasn't played in any. I, here, let me just ask this. <laughs> Can you think of a team where their leading scores were their 3 4 5? Can you think of a like a, a scenario where this has happened? That's an interesting. There question. might there might be one out there. I, I'm not sure, but I'm I'm guessing but it's but very our, rare. Our five is our one. Yeah. <laughs> Can you? But even think about just the like three four or you know four five or something being. It's very rare that you have two bigs, and it's very rare that you'd have three. So that's all. Everything I'm about this Nuggets team is rare. All right, all right. You guys are on board. Are you who's your side? You take a side here. No, I don't. I don't think it's likely, but I think it's on the table. I would not snuff that out. I, right. like I think it's very on the table. All right, let's go to bold prediction. That would have been my bold prediction. I, that's a, <laughs> that's going to be more bold than any of the predictions yeah. here. Um, all right, let's get to uh, Harrison Wind. I think he shoots forty percent from three. I think Will Barton Whoa. has his career high. Whoa, three point shooting season this 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 year. That's a six pep per take. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, no, we're talking about Will Barton. I thought we were talking about Aaron Gordon. <laughs> no, this is the Will Where Barton are player preview. Uh, no, I, I think he has a great year shooting from three. Um, I really do. He's. He, I, I think he's going to be a little bit more in the point guard role at times, especially at the end of games. But he's also going to get a lot of wide open catch and shoots from Yoke, from Michael Porter. So I'm buying you know Will Barton shot this season. I love that. I, I like it, right. Eric. Will Barton became much maligned in the Nuggets universe when he missed two 
back to back game back. winners. Yep. Uh, this is why years people ago. don't like it. Because this is why two game stretch. Yes, it was a two game stretch, sure, and Eric. people then called him selfish. That's when the, the idea that he dribbled the cover off the basketball. He's always looking for his own shot, which is absolutely not true. I believe this year he will hit a game winner. Love it. He's he has will, game winners, but in his under his belt too. Chicago layup, yep. right? Chicago layup. Uh, like a a game winner in the sense that, uh, like the two he missed, the deep three, game on the line, hits the three, crowd goes crazy, Gary Harris style. I see. Oh, him. I would love locker. that. Honestly, this is how I would like the home opener to go because the Nuggets need Will really bad this year, and it would like again my wish to the genie who which was denied. <laughs> I'd love for the fan base to get on board. That's how they get on board. Yeah. He does something like that. The, the Nuggets need Will really bad. Will needs to be embraced by this fan base a little bit. And uh, I think the fan base is going to need to hear my bold prediction. Will Barton tells us he's going to retire a Denver Nugget. He wants to retire a Denver Nugget. I don't know if the fan base would love this at the moment. Though. They wouldn't. <laughs> but they need. And does this come directly after he hits the game winner? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, perfect. You know what? We get a good feel good moment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, the funny thing is, like, the fan base loves Austin Rivers. He gives his interviews, and that's why. And, like, he speaks like. Will Barton's the damn reverend. It's the best quote there is, and somehow it hasn't translated. Um, Here's my bold prediction. It's the boldest of all of these. Oh, boy. He's going to have a career year by a wide margin. I really believe this. Will Barton has Definitely been getting Vegas. better. No, by a wide I think everybody's yes. going to unanimously say this is like easily Will Barton's best year. He has, as a skill standpoint, as a feel for the game, understanding of the game, all of that stuff, <laughs> he's at the top. And I think he has been for the last two or three years. It's just been disguised by the fact that it's always in like 10 minute stretches. Then he's hurt and, and it's taken away fully healthy, energized. I think this is a year where people are like, Oh wow, he actually is really good. Yeah. And his, the two, go ahead, sorry, his two best stretches or seasons in his career are as a nugget. It's in the recent seasons when he wasn't hurt. Yeah. He's playing the very best basketball of his life. So. Yeah. Well, that wraps it up guys for Will Barton player preview for non-members, but for members, Oop. there's more. Ooh. We've got the list. We've got wind chimes with Will Barton uh, for members only. You want to become a member, it's $5 a month. Not very expensive at all. You get a free t-shirt when you sign up. You also get access to all of our premium content all year. Game grades. We got uh, his written articles, almost every single game, practice, all of that stuff, insight from him. And then the list for me, Eric just kind of looks beautiful on camera. That's that's his, your yeah, shirt. Yeah, he he just puts on hats and wigs. Oh, he has make shirts and then you get discounts. No, all I do is uh, everything else at the company. Oh my gosh. This guy, <laughs> I can't believe he's so persecuted. Just so persecuted. Uh, become artist. a member. <laughs> go to thenbr.com. You get access to the bonus segments that are live right now. We'll see you over there.